Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You seen in the previous video we got our baby chickens in. Today I'm back out here working on the coop. My goal of the day is I want to get the wire all the way around the front and back and start running the boards for the the top to screw the tin to or screw the the roofing to. It ain't tin, it's corrugated plastic. Uh PVC plastic roofing instead of the tin. But my plans is to get those boards up today. The boards I'm using was all free from the buddy I have. I met through uh, YouTube that has a, we had a sawmill on his place cutting up the lumber for his house. These are all like the shorts and drops and everything. Some of them are not true dimensional lumber. It's all gonna be under the roof. So to me, it doesn't matter. But the roof is not gonna be, I'm gonna have it the three sections, this last section is not gonna be covered with a roof. It's gonna be covered with chicken wire, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna have to put some boards in there so I can staple the chicken wire to, to keep predators from coming in. Y'all follow along. Like I said, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my uploads. Like and comment if you like what you see today. This is like part, I think four or maybe five of me working on this chicken coop. I want to get a few hours here and there. Y'all follow along. If some of, if some of y'all knew, if y'all are new uh, watchers, in some of the previous video I stated, I'm putting chicken wire here, but I'm gonna come back. I got hardware cloth. I'm gonna put a two foot section of hardware cloth all around on the ground on the outside and stake it down. I still got like a foot of chicken wire sticking out. I'm gonna come by and get those little stakes like you put for uh, the little stakes you put in the ground for like weed, uh, weed barrier and stuff. And then I've got a pile of dirt. I'm gonna come with a wheelbarrow and put dirt all along the side and bury the wire. I'm not putting a lot of staples through here because like I said, I'm gonna come back with hardware cloth. I'm gonna bend that hardware cloth up. So about two inches or so is on the wood and it's a 24 inch wide hardware cloth. So you got 22 inches. It's gonna come out 22 inches out. And it keeps any printer from digging in. I'm not gonna run chicken wire across here yet because I have an automatic chicken door. And I'm gonna put that in there and I still gotta frame it out for it. And then I wanna run chicken wire then have to take the chicken wire back off. Before I got too carried away, I wanted to make sure I had it stapled right so it reached the the bottom board, I mean the, the board at bottom.
this roll of chicken wire is three foot wide, 150 foot long. I got another roll in the barn that's four foot wide. I'm gonna have to get it because it's just a, just barely enough to fit through there. But on the side, I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the four foot wide one. Like I said, wherever I staple on the wire at, I'm gonna come back and put a trim, put a board over it, and actually screw it in to uh, help secure the wire better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a two, uh, yeah, two by three here and here. That's 36 inches, 36 inches. Then you got a 30 inch gap because this is taller than 48 and that would never work. I think I got some that I don't have to really cut much off. Cookie dough. Get down. My uh, pocket hole uh, jig. My armor pocket hole jig. To uh, set this armor pocket hole, you uh, take a piece of lumber the side you're going to be drilling. You clamp it in. Then you take your pocket hole bit, you loosen your set screw, and you set it in the side. And then you uh, tighten your set screw for the depth of the wood here. And this is just a piece of scrap, so I knew the depth. And then you're ready to start drilling. What I like about the pocket hole you got this side here, you unscrew this, and this comes out. And so if you got a wider piece of board, say you're using a two by four instead of a two by three, you get your holes farther apart. Well, if you're using a two by three, like I am, you ain't got a lot of wood. So you put your two hole, you flip it around and put your two holes close together or closer together. And I try to make sure it's centered. And then you got your two holes. Since I did that one on the outside, I'm gonna do these on the outside so it looks the same.
got the pockets all done, ready to hang the wire. Before I hang the hot wire, I need to get my chainsaw and cut these posts off. I've been meaning to do that. Because once I hang the wire, then the wire is going to be in the way of the chainsaw. <laughs> I'm leaving a little long on the end here because when I run my cross boards for the, the roofing, I want to be able to tuck this over and don't have to worry about putting burr blocks and stuff like that. I got the wire there. And like I said, this last section is just going to be wire roof more than likely. And me doing the, the pocket holes on the wrong side kind of worked out in my favor because I told you wherever it overlaps, I'm going to put a trim up. And what it is going to be like fence slats or whatever, whatever the cheapest lumber I can get, some one by sixes or whatever, and rip those to, to fit the width of the board and screw them in. So it, it worked in my favor doing it the wrong way this time.
before I started working on the chicken coop, back in January, when they uh, was going to install our power, I had to clear the right away for the power pole. And uh, what I did, I just cut the trees down, hooked on with a chain with my truck, and drug the and just drug the trees out in the yard because they was coming the next day. Well, this morning I spent all day after I got the chickens. Well, uh, this morning I spent all day pulling limbs, cutting the limbs up, cutting some firewood for my mother-in-law, and piling the limbs up. I got one pile burned. I still got two more to burn before I ever started working on the coop. So my back is not feeling too great. I'm probably gonna do these two sections of wire. I definitely want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Not as wide as three foot, so they're gonna be some hangover. So it is what it is. pocket hole drill but I'm gonna pocket hole drill one at a time so I don't get them mixed up I still don't know how I'm gonna quite do the end here that's why I haven't done it because I want to have a a door so you can get in but i also want to have a bottom door where it opens up at the bottom so it's a clean out and I haven't quite figured out or i might just make one big old door and just open up that's what i might do i haven't decided yet I'm a, I messed up guys. The top board is on the outside of the post. So those boards I so the boards I just put in should connect at the bottom there where they're at, but they should be on the back side of those boards and screwed into there. But I'm leaving it. You can't notice looking at it this way, but they're they're leaned in a little bit. I like me putting the boards in the center, guys. So they've definitely been tough trying to stretch. Because from the top of here to the top of here is 48 inches. And the other roll I got is four foot. So you would have to really stretch it just to barely get some wood. And here I don't have to worry about that.